challenge. So the challenge here is simple. You go back to your last level, which was GIMP. You get the last challenge, which was your drawing that we're going to be using in a storybook. You take it and you run through the exact same workflow I just did with your artwork. So you're going to bring it into GIMP and you're going to basically fix up the lines. Uh, you'll add simple color to it. You'll separate it out on the layers. Then you'll bring it into Inkscape and turn it into vector art. And what you do here to clean it all up for the rest of the challenge is this. This object, this frog, is in inches, three by six, roughly. So I'll go File, Document Properties, and make it three by six. Some programs, when you import it in to use it in other places, use the document size. Some use the vector size. In this case, I have it very universal for both to be, you know, the way it is. It's, it's very universal that way. So when you get done, save as, and you're going to be saving this as Inkscape SVG frog and replace it. Also, go back to GIMP. You will have your artwork here. This is where you started. I also need that. So save as. And I'll call this XCF. This gives me all the possibilities to edit it later. So later on, let's say I need uh, thir certain things to be gone. I can get rid of the cross hatching. I could get rid of the line art, the stylized. I can get rid of all that because it lives all in layers. Like these, these might be too thick for certain illustrations. I can get rid of those. Um, maybe I don't need color at all. I can get rid of the color. Always keep a backup of your work. One that's editable. Cool. Now when you're done, um, that's that's it. In the next unit, we use Scribus. Next little section here, the next challenge coming up is Scribus. In Scribus, we're going to put a story next to the frog. You're going to have, not a frog, you're going to have your artwork for that story. But you're going to need your animal with color in Inkscape, all vectored out, and should look a lot like this somewhat. It doesn't have to be that detailed or that stylized, maybe you don't have the ability to draw as as well or better, doesn't matter. But I need it to resemble the animal that's in the story, regardless of which. Alright, so enjoy and let's move on to the next challenge.